As a guy who was involved from the very beginning, maybe 1982, 1983 with MRI, and who's had a tremendous amount of experience with MRI over the last 30 years, this is a revolutionary product. The images that I've seen so far from the Ingenia have been some of the best images that I've ever seen produced on any 3T. Radiologists uh, are looking for us to solve two problems. The first is improve the quality of images so they can have greater confidence in their diagnosis. The second thing is they would like MR to be, become more versatile. What that allows us to do is to finally bring the promise of whole body oncology imaging utilizing MRI to reality. The new digital coil design really elevates the clinical performance of the system because we digitize the signal right at the patient, and that maintains the purity of the signal. And I can tell you that it makes a huge difference. It makes a difference in terms of 40% increased signal to noise. It allows us to image up to 40% faster. Well, 40% is a big deal. When we went to 1.5T to 3T, that resulted in a substantial increase in signal to noise. This 40% increase is actually compared to other 3T MRs. We can now image patients faster, we can image them better, and we can image them more completely. The Ingenia, it's not just a small step forward, it's a major leap ahead of the competition. Not only does it have a large bore, a 70 centimeter bore, but what it has is the best homogeneity spec in the industry. So we're going to be doing scans on patients that we probably couldn't have been able to do on our current unit. So we're going to be able to do maybe patients that are a little bit heavy set, patients that are a little bit stockier. And we're going to be able to image body parts that we just weren't able to image before. We look at patient comfort being uh, a key and critical component in how uh, uh, we can improve image quality and consistency overall. One of the biggest challenges that the technologists have are to make sure they put the right coils in the right body parts. One of the big advantages of Ingenia is that one of the coils is actually embedded into the table. So the technologist does not have to worry about make sure that the patient is sitting on the coil or laying on the coil in the right position. With that comfort level, we can also offer improved diagnostic quality because now the patient is comfortable. The Ingenia also makes sense from the point of view of an administrator who increasingly has to be looking at the bottom line. Ingenia will be the first system in the, in the market that will be truly channel independent. If a customer wants to upgrade the number of channels on an RF coil due to a new application or an existing application, they can do so without really upgrading their system with expensive hardware and software. Healthcare reform is going to bring us 30 million more patients to be imaged over the next few years. It's just going to happen. It's going to all boil down to throughput. So I think with the Ingenia, there are several factors that actually help improve the throughput. One is the signal to noise, and the second are all the innovations, such as embedding the coil within the table, the ability to actually hook up the D-stream in a seamless manner than was available before, the ability to have less patients halt the exam because of claustrophobia, because the magnet is bigger, the bore is bigger, so you can have better patient compliance. All of these individual things, when added together, have the ability to increase our patient throughput, and in these times of declining reimbursement, make this a very viable option.